So somebody pointed out that Ubisoft is one of those companies that apparently once upon a time ended up removing a crossbow from their game because it wasn't historically accurate and today they do all this crap. We're gonna get into it, there are a, a lot, a whole lot of shenanigans everybody. Like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders and check this, okay? IGN says better representation for Asian people in video games isn't going to be found in yet another Samurai Hero. Uh oh, I think it's time, put your seatbelts on, roll it. Hey, what's up guys up here? So we got some more controversy involving Assassin's Creed Shadows, and this time we're gonna look at some Japanese gamers who are upset with Ubisoft's woke pandering when it comes to this game. Now, a lot okay. of the controversy surrounding this game involves the choice of main characters. Of course, mm. for a game set in feudal Japan, this seems like a yeah. very interesting choice for these two main protagonists, especially when you choose Yasuke and claim he is a samurai. Now, a lot of historical evidence suggests that he was simply a retainer, and there's a great lack of evidence to suggest mm. he is a samurai. However, mm. the developers of this game and game journalists have not only claimed that he is definitely a samurai, and that all historical evidence suggests it. They even go as far as to say, if you are complaining about this, you have no grounds because apparently there's been enough Asian representation in the realm of the samurai. Sorry if you're an upset Japanese gamer questioning this choice of main character. You've had enough representation, according to yeah. IGN and other games. That is insane, bro. That is okay. Listen, man, I think this is racist. What the hell is going on, bro? It's a game set in Japan. It's a game set in feudal Japan for crying out loud, bro. So they have a BBC Samurai, and Ubisoft comes on and says that, no, that boy gay, bro. A and they turn the, the other chick gay as well, so... It it's like, bro, like, what we doing? And then he's slicing all them Japanese homies in the game. They're bowing down to him. He's a walking tank. And of course, of course, a hip-hop beat plays in the background. Elon Musk is talking about it. He talked about the, yeah, I covered that in the last video, which I will link to in a second, but wait for it. Game journalists. And also people on Twitter have defended this decision by claiming the outrage about this only comes from a bunch of white dudes living out in the countryside. <clears throat> However, if you look at the Japanese trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows, you will see the like-dislike ratio is absolutely abysmal. However, Twitter will try to convince you that the 5,300 likes are all from Japanese gamers and the 48,000 dislikes are all from white dudes from America. Yes, they don't want to listen to what Japanese gamers have to say about this game, yeah. and it shows. On top of that, as this- They're literally saying, F the Japanese, bruh! ...game and its launch gets closer and closer, we're seeing some goods be sent out by the team, and yeah, it's not going very good for Ubisoft. Uh -oh. As you can see from this post right here, the details of the statue and all the related merchandise have inaccuracies. Very blatant ones, not just with the figure, but also the kanji is incorrectly written no. as Japanese speakers have pointed out, which is obviously very disingenuous for some sort of a promotional item like this being sent out to various YouTubers and content creators. And on top of that, it really demonstrates everything wrong with the... There used to be a time when Ubisoft would remove a crossbow because it was not historically accurate. And they do this! What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on, bro? If we're talking about feudal Japan, man, not the hip hop beat, bruh. Come on, man. What are we doing here, bruh? What are we doing here? All right, let's play this. Really, direction of this game and its character choices and its plot choices, it just demonstrates that this game is being used to push some sort of an agenda. They are oh, using absolutely. characters absolutely. like Yasuke, they're using the feudal Japan setting and other things to push their own version of the history. They are revising hmm. the history for their own political agenda and it's very obvious. They don't have an actual appreciation for any of the related culture, they just want to use it for their own personal gain and it's showing. And on top of that, the Japanese gamers are getting louder and louder about their disliking of some of the choices involving Assassin's Creed Shadows. You can see this IGN Japan post right here on Twitter getting a lot of backlash. Let's read some of the replies to this. Okay, uh, and before, right, like I could be wrong and I hope I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm assuming that the IGN Japan is probably controlled by like Western, uh, Western, by the West, and it's probably not gonna have anything too bad, right? Like, they're gonna be like, yeah, this is beautiful, this is diversity, this is strong, independent, we love diversity, this is strong, this is how the history goes, this is what it was like in feudal Japan, it was strong, independent, and then there's pushback, let's, let's see, let's find out. This user saying, Yasuke, who has no historical achievements whatsoever, could be turned into a legendary samurai, a great ruler of Japan, or even a beautiful girl in a work of fiction. As long as it's not falsely portrayed as real historical facts, there is no problem with this expressing it as a flavorful nuance, such as 
the truth about Japan within the main story. The only problem is people who pretend that fictional stories are historical facts. Here's mm. another one saying, even though it's called historical fiction, these are people who insist on revising history to be politically yeah. correct, and it makes me want to puke. Here's another one saying, in quotes, we filled in the gaps in history with our story, end quote. If some circles find out about this title, it could incite a boycott. I would never Dang. buy it, though. So as these Dang. Japanese users are pointing out, they're basically trying to have their cake and eat it, too. So what Ubisoft and some of their supporters are trying to do is say, hey, if you have an issue with us labeling Yasuke as a samurai in the game, that's just a work of fiction. We can do whatever we want with these characters. But as IGN attempts here and many of these oh, supporters no. of this game also do, they try to also claim he's a samurai in real life, too. They want it to be true in both the historical and fictional context. Listen, like, I'm not a history buff, so I don't know whether he was a retainer or or a samurai, or was he there, was he not? A lot of people are also using those AI images as proof that, hey, he was actually there with a family. Listen here, smarty pants, camera did not exist back then, okay? I'm sorry, Bruh. but it did not, okay? That's not my opinion, that's a fact, that is a fact. So the images that you are seeing with Yasuke with a family, not true, not real, okay? Did he exist back then? Sure, maybe. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. A lot of people do claim that he did exist. But here's the thing, right? A lot of people were like, okay, so yeah, he had a family. And yeah, that's wholesome, right? Like, that's cute though, he had a family. But Ubisoft turns around, they're like, well, he, he uh, LGTB, bro. Like, no family, bro. Family? We don't like families here, bro. No familia here, okay? No familia. But that boy, gay. And we're talking feudal Japan, guys. Feudal Japan, absolute disgraceful, and, and as he's walking around, hip-hop music plays, so they're literally profiling him. Yeah, they are. They're literally being biased. They're like, oh yeah, black guy? Oh, he better love your hip-hop. He better... Why can't a brother love metal music, right? Like pop, maybe, perhaps, right? Exactly! But, but see, the point here is that, like, this is Feudal Japan. Can a brother get some Japanese music in the game? Can a brother get some Japanese music? <laughs> Is that so hard to ask? Is that too hard to ask? Japanese music? Oh, you never heard of it? Crazy, man. While having defenses for both, when there's no real tangible evidence to suggest he is a samurai in the historical context that is needed to justify both sides of this. They want to have both things be true and then judge you if you disagree. But moving forward, there was even more posts uh -oh. on the Japanese side of Twitter that would get a lot of outrage. Again, another post from IGN Japan here, sharing oh, some quotes from good. the development team of Ubisoft. This user would quote them saying this, the dangerous idea that we have filled in the gaps in history with our story, Yubi's our samurai, Yasuke is not a samurai, and although he was supposed to have been loved by the people of Fukushima Yama, for governing the castle town well, a recent gameplay video showed the common people being oppressed in the castle town. Our history with Yubi. And here's another one saying, Assassin's Creed is set in Japan's Azuchi Momoyama period, and I'm surprised that the film fails to anticipate the shockwaves that would result from making Yasuke, who wasn't even in the textbooks, a legendary samurai and having Damn. him kill Japanese people <sighs> instead of the actual Japanese themselves. Here's another one saying, this is really crazy. The Assassin's Creed series has always had a local character as the main characters. They're calling Yasuke a samurai who played an active role. If this were in China or Korea, it would cause a huge outrage and even lead to a ban. But in Japan, they wouldn't say anything even if they discriminated against. Damn. And I experienced the real discrimination of a French company. Damn. Here's another one saying, if you watch the video, you can see that there's no mention of the Knights Templar or the Assassins at all. Why not stop calling it Assassin's Creed? In a politically complicated time, it's easier to understand if you look at it from it's a uh, politics creed from multiple perspectives in assassin's creed there are two choices the knights or the church and all these confusing elements and really just disrespectful elements to a lot of japanese uh, yeah, people yeah. who have issue with this is starting to mount more and more and if you keep mm. looking around there's more and more outrage over more. this game stemming yep. not just from a bunch of white people on twitter it's japanese users as well and you start wondering, well, who is writing these stories? Who is trying to write my version of Japanese history? Well, you can look yeah. here and see, this is what the lead writer of Assassin's Creed Shadow looks like. And here's the group of people she's following. Oh, look at that. It's Sweet, Sweet Baby, Baby the woke- Yeah, 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 Can a brown man perhaps just see good games coming out, though, without the politics in it? I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you left them. Because 10 years ago, man, we all thought that games were gonna get better, you know, like, we, we, of course, appreciated those games back then, but we did not appreciate to the point that we appreciate them now. Because back then, we all thought that it's gonna get better. Humans, 
were good at one thing and consulting firm that is basically ruining games out there with their DEI initiatives. On top of that, if you go to the Sweet Baby website, you can see on their client list, Ubisoft. So none of this is really surprising if you start digging in. And on top of that, these people don't really care about having any sort of historical accuracy, okay? And it's really showing. I remember sharing this clip right here. This user posted a video, some in-game uh, footage from Assassin's Creed Shadows with Yasuke in a fight scene. And they, they're, you know, a lot of people were praising this. Oh, what a great scene. What a great set of background music as well. Which is very strange because the background music seemed like it had some traditional Japanese music, but then added in a little hip hop type layer beat to it. And a lot of people are like, whoa, what is going on here? And people like this journalist right here is someone who is praising this as something that is very, very good. And in fact, they go even further saying Yasuke's theme for Assassin's Creed Shadows goes hard. It reminds me a lot of the contrast between Miles and Peter's music in Spider-Man 2, where Peter is way more traditional, while Miles brings in his own culture to mix in the orchestra tracks, mm. giving them a lot of his- No, I, I love that Miles team. I actually did. I actually did. So, yeah, it, it was very good. It was very good. But see, that's a different game. That's a different setting altogether, and this game is a different setting. It's a, it's feudal Japan, dog. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, like what we're talking about. Own personality. So, a lot of people were clowning on this post, and for good reason, because this idea that you would be praised for putting hip hop type beats on Yasuke's gameplay is outrageous, because it is incredibly yeah. stereotypical. And it's yeah. even worse when you think about it, because this yeah. isn't an African American man. This is a man from Africa hundreds of years before hip-hop music was created. So that seems there incredibly stereotypical and also just wrong. It's like wrong on multiple levels. And users are pointing that out. This user said, we need an apology from anyone defending the quality of the game itself because what the F is the stereotypical bullshit, man? Here's another one mm. saying, in quotes, it brings in his own culture, end quote. Rap beats will literally not exist for the next 390 years after Yasuke's time in Japan, but here it is. And somehow <laughs> oh, we're the racist for pointing out how effed up it is that they did the black guy gotta give him dreads in hip-hop theme, end quote. Here's another one saying, African character makes his music a effing rap beat remix. Canadians really think African Americans and Africans are one of the same. Yeah, this entire Damn. situation from the creative choices behind it. I, 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 meanwhile, watches this video sitting in Canada. Yeah, I'm in Canada, guys, like, just watching this video and hearing that while sitting in Canada. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Everything is going wrong right now, man. What the hell is going on, man? And Assassin's Creed Shadow, to some of the praise from these game journalists, is a really bad look for all parties involved. This game is a mess, and no Twitter, this is not just a bunch of white male gamers from the US who are upset about a black character being featured in this game. This goes way- Check out this video on the screen because recently Elon Musk just went ham on this forced DEI crap, and, and you wanna know what happened right after he let his opinion out? Chaos, meltdown, shutdowns everywhere. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.